Representative Andrea Bolin from Maine. Uh, mm -hmm. She is asking um, legislators to uh, create a bill that would inf that would force cell phone companies to have a warning, a permanent warning on cell phone devices that say that cell phones cause brain tumors. That scares me, man. Doesn't yeah. that scare you? It scares me, yeah. But okay, now look. just the fact that she's doing it doesn't necessarily prove anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep it real. But it's a real point of concern for scientists. That's what I found, obviously, the really scary part. Right. There are a lot of contradicting studies. We don't know anything uh, concrete yet. I mean, there are conspiracy theorists who think that the government's trying to keep the truth away from us. But, like, I don't know. I'm not that worried about it. You know what I'm like? I'm like the chimpanzee on a tree telling you about the cell phones. <laughs> what else was he? He was a bird. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> and I'm the crazy one? I'm like the bird. Flying to make sure no one eats all the other birds. <laughs> We're just trying to warn you about the cell phones. <laughs> Alex Jones style. Here is what could be real, mm -hmm. right? Which is that if there's not enough information uh, and studies that have been done for a long enough period of time to see how it affects people, and we have some studies that are cause of concern, right? Mm -hmm. So they're sending out little, you know, w red flags. Uh, and now will companies try to desperately cover that up? Of course. Of course, of course, because that's going to affect their bottom line, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if somebody says, hey, you watch out for that, you want to call it a conspiracy, whatever you want to call it, that makes perfect sense, right? But it isn't part of the Bilderberg group yeah. <laughs> okay, or, or the New World Order. It's just people trying to make a buck. But it's an issue. Would you, I mean, does it cross your mind? Because I've been thinking about that for like four years now. And I had no reason to believe it. I had, there was no report I read. There was no scientific study. There was none of that. I was just like, you know, we got signals pumping into my temple, the softest part of my head. Um, there's thousands of things, apparently, I don't know, because we're still trying to figure out cancer. But there's all the stuff that causes cancer. Who knows? This, that. There's this, there. There's that. There. I was like, why would this be so much different? So I do the whole thing with, which actually, I'm not even sure if that helps, not having it in your head the whole time. Some of these earpieces are good in that one. But I just assumed I was, you know, being over dramatic about it, but I didn't care. I'd rather hear about it 20 years later how there's this huge epidemic of brain cancer, and I'm one of the people who's like, oh, glad I was a little bit insane back then. <laughs> okay, by the way, I like how JR is rooting for the epidemic of brain cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be able to say, aha, I told you so. <laughs> okay, uh, and Alex Jones is the bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when he's trying to protect you. All right, <laughs> no more Jones. Uh, now, <laughs> now look, here's what's real and not real. When I heard uh, about the cell phones uh, you remember this uh, in the, back in the day that could blow up the gas stations? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, no. Here's what's not happening. That. Here's why. If a cell phone blew up a gas station, mm -hmm. I think we'd have heard about it. Yeah, okay. totally. I think that might have made it onto TYT. <laughs> okay. There ain't no, and, you know, people really believe that, right? Mm -hmm. And the cell phone's bringing the planes down? You can't use your cell phone because that'll interfere with the planes. No, okay. no plane has ever crashed because somebody took out their cell phone. It's just, mm -hmm. it's... Look, and we did a report on this, investigative report on this when I worked in Miami. It's not the case. Back in the day, they wanted to drive you, and to some degree today still, uh, to the airplane phones. That mm -hmm. costs so much more money, right? And plus, maybe it inter interferes with some things, but it doesn't, you know, down the plane, et cetera. So that one is largely untrue. Mm -hmm. But the cell phones do emit radiation. Right. So, and it's a tiny amount. So is it a much more reasonable to think that that, even if it's a small amount of radiation that that might affect you, especially in a place like your brain, yeah, that's, that's a hell of a lot more of a reasonable concern. And, and as I said, the earlier, early studies indicate that it is causing a problem. Now, they're not definitive at all, and you need to give them more time, et cetera. They need to be peer-reviewed, uh, so it's not time to panic yet. But if you want to exercise caution like JR, not such a bad idea. And yes, the earpieces are better because they keep the radiation away from your head. Uh, where the cell phone is uh, picking it up, mm -hmm. and if you're pregnant, if they say don't have it uh, near the baby. Um, so both those things as an initial precaution make sense. In fact, I, after I read this story today, I was talking to somebody on the cell phone. I was like, you know what? Let me put my earpiece in. Mm -hmm. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> but be ready. You know, there's some, those, some of those earpieces, I think this is what I've heard, once mm -hmm. I was actually was concerned about it. Those normal earpieces still pumping all the radiation. They're still pumping in. You need the earpieces that have the break in it, and it's like a there's some kind of break in it that stops the radiation. All that. So that when I heard that, I was like, "This is a company 
trying to sell earpieces yeah. that are different kinds for the people that are f afraid of things that are unknown like me. And I spent 30 bucks on a new earpiece that has this brick. It doesn't let radiation in. Buy it. You won't get brain cancer. Then they're making their money off of idiots like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the special earpieces. I, I like to see some evidence before I go uh, reach any kind of conclusion or even speculation. All right, so but we do have some evidence on this. That's why we brought it to you.